Welcome to the 20th chapter of the book of Matthew. Uh, we're going back here to the parables uh, that Jesus had, uh, mostly in uh, chapter 13, and they basically were in, uh, for the kingdom of heavens is likened, which is exactly the same here. It begins, Omia gar esten e vasilia ton uranon, for the kingdom of the heavens is likened. Anthropo to a man. Eco despoti ostis exilthen ama proi misthosis the ergatas is ton ampelona of two. A master of a house, eco, we have economy, and despot, despoti, a despot, economy has to do with somebody taking care of the economy, basically, of a house. And here is a master of a house, the despot. Uh, oh, who came forth at the same time in the morning to hire workers, ergatas, uh, erga, ergonomics is a derivative, for his vineyard. K. Symphonisus meta ton ergaton ek denariu t imera, and having agreed, symphony is the derivative for that word, uh, and something in agreement with the ergat workers at a denarius. There's a transliteration. Uh, a day, a denarius a day. A pestilent of two, east ton ampelona of two. He sent them into his vineyard. Verse 3, que excel thon peri tin tritin oren, even alus estotas in ti agora agrus. And having come forth around, peri, a perimeter, something of measurement around, uh, the third, tritin, uh, tritin, we have tri as the derivative, oren is a, almost a transliteration. He built others standing in the agora. I could put an agora, but uh, market is what it is in English, but agora is the derivative. They were standing by idle in the third hour, maybe 9 o'clock in the morning. Maybe they started, well, let's say it was 7, 8, nine, 10, something like that. Kakinis, Epen, and he said to, and, and to those he said, Epagate ke imis, is ton apolona. You go also yourselves into the vineyard. Ke o eon e dikeon. Though so he mean, and whatever might be just, I will give to you. E they apelthon, and they went forth. Pauline exelthon, peri ectin, ke enatin, oran, epison osavtos. And again, or again, going forth around the sixth and the ninth hour, he did likewise. 4160, there's the P, whenever you see the uh, P. P, Omicron, Iota, it has to do with making, doing. He did likewise. Peride tin endakatin oren exelthon evron alus estotus agrus. And around the 11th hour, maybe almost at the end of the day, an hour to go, having come forth, he found others standing idle. K. Legiav T says to them, T. O. the estikate. Olintini meren agri. Why do you stand here the entire day idle? Legusin afto oti. Udi simas emisthosato. They said to him that no one hired us. And Legiavti says to them, Ipagate ke imis iston ampelona. You go also yourselves into the vineyard. Ke o eon e dikeon lipsis the, and whatever might be just, you shall receive. So he's got these different groups of every three hours going into his field. Opsius the genomenis, an evening having begun, legi to legi o curios to ampelona, to epitropo of two, says the master of the vineyard to his caretaker. Kalison to Sorgatus, ke apodos aftis ton miston. Call the workers and render to them the wage. Arxamenos apo ton escaton, eos ton proton. Here Jesus is setting it up. From beginning from the last, escaton, eschatology is studying of the 
last times onto the proton, uh, prototype first. Kael thontus e peri tin endakatin oren elevan ana vinarion. And the ones having come around the eleventh hour, working maybe an hour, received each a denarius. So these other men are all waiting to get paid behind them. Elthontus they, e proti enomison oti pliona lipsonte. And having come, the first ones thought they shall receive more. Ke elevon ke afti ana thena rion. And they received also themselves a denarius. So the ones that worked the whole day, and they got the same amount. Lavontus they, and having received a gogizon, kata to ikodespotu, they grumbled against the master of the house. Legontes, saying that, oti, uti i askati, mian oren epison. These last produced for one hour. Ke iso sima emin aftu sepisis, and you made them uh, equal uh, to us. Uh, Isus, uh, isobar, is a um, derivative in weather, an, an equal isotope, these words. You made them uh, equal to us. Tis vap vastasasi tovaros tisimeris, the ones bearing the load of the day. Keton kavsona, and the and the burning wind. We work all hard, all day long. O the apocrithes, epen and e afton. And responding, he said to one of them, Eteore, my companion, uk adikose, I did not wrong you. Uki the nario, sina phonisus me. Did not, did you not agree with me for a denarius? Yes, he did the uh, degree. Now, these. Uh, are, I believe, the Jews he's talking about that have been with the Lord, uh, with God, and following his commandments and everything for uh, thousands of years. And now uh, something is happening different where people at the last are allowed to come, which I believe is possibly the, the nations he's referring to here, are the Jews at the time, um, sinners and the uh, the harlots and the tax collectors in them. In verse 20, 14, it continues, Adaron to son, carry the thing yours, ke ipage, and go. Thelo they tuto to escato dune os ke si. But I want to give to these last ones as also you. God wants uh, to give to everyone. And some people that may be thinking that they are righteous because they've been uh, going to a certain church all their lives, that they should get the privilege because they uh, have been a, accepting God all their lives. And somebody that's a sinner and done all kinds of terrible things can come at the end and uh, have the same forgiveness and be rejoicing where the other people could, in this case, he's, uh, I think, showing is that they're bitter towards God because he's allowing these ones that have sinned to come at the last and receive the same favor that these people, they should be getting more. But he says here, E uk exestimi peise othello in tisemis, or is it not allowed to me to do what I want, the things mine? E o ophthalmo su pony rosestine, is it not your eye is wicked, o ti ego agathosimi, that I am good? God is having mercy on the one sheep that was lost, more or less, and the other 99, the Jews, uh, they are jealous. Utos esonte i ascati proti, thus the last first, ke proti ascati, and the first last. Poligar isi cliti, oligi de eclecti, for many are called, but few Chosen. Chosen. Uh, it appears in the New Testament in, um, outside of the chosen like this. Uh, it talks about that in 1 Timothy uh, 5.21. I'll read it to you here in, in the Apostolic Bible. It says, uh, I testify before God 
and the Lord Jesus Christ and the chosen angels that these things you should guard. Uh, the angels were chosen, chosen angels. But other angels uh, fell. So uh, here in the, we get a little another key into this in the Second Timothy uh, 2.10. It says, uh, because of this, I endure all things on account of the chosen ones, that also they should attain deliverance in Christ Jesus with eternal glory. So Paul is uh, doing these things for the chosen ones, that they should obtain deliverance. It's not a sure thing. And then the next one uh, is in uh, 1 Peter 2, 9. And it says here, uh, but you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for procurement, so that you should publish the virtues of the one calling you from out of darkness into his wonderful light. We've been chosen uh, by God for a purpose, and that is to be a light to the world. Then in Revelation 17, uh, 14, it uh, says, These shall wage war against the Lamb, and the Lamb will overcome them. For he is Lord of lords and King of kings, and the ones with him are called, uh, uh, and the ones with him are called and chosen and trustworthy. The chosen called. The disciples were called. They weren't chosen. Uh, Judas was called. He wasn't chosen and he fell away. The chosen. Uh, may we be among God's chosen and do his will. In verse 17 it continues, Que ana venon o Jesus Iserusolim o Irosolima parelave tus Dodica mathitas kat idian in teodo ke ipenaftis. And Jesus ascending unto Jerusalem. So now he's went all the way down uh, into Jerusalem. We'll uh, call up our map here. And so he was up here in north in Capernaum, around the Sea of Galilee. He made himself in the last uh, chapter, it said he made himself down into uh, some into Judea, which is down in here. Now he's come all the way down into Jerusalem. This is where he's at. And he took with himself the twelve mathitas uh, in private. Uh, idion, the idia, idiosyncratic is a derivative, something that's uh, singular. Uh, on the way, uh, in the way, on the way, although odometer is a derivative, and Epen, he said to them, Idu anavenomen is irosolima. Behold, we ascend into Jerusalem. Keo eos to anthropu paradothesate tis archiarevsi. Ke grammatevsi. Ke katakrinusin afton thanato. The Son of Man shall be delivered up to the chief priests and to the scribes, and they shall condemn him to death. Thanatology is a study of death. It comes from this word. Verse 19. Ke para thosu sin afton, tis ethnosin, isto epexen, epexe. And they shall deliver him up to the nations to mock. And that's exactly what happened. He went there in uh, Jerusalem, and uh, the Jews gave him over to Pontius Pilate. And the soldiers put on the royal robes and spit and mocked him and whipped him. Que mastigose, que stavrose, and to whip and to crucify. This is the nations, uh, the King James, other Bibles say the Gentiles. The word ethnic, uh, ethnos, ethnesi here is uh, um, plural. It has to do with nations not with necessarily Gentiles as a state of type of a, a person that's not a Jew. It's really nations. 
uh, in the crucify him. KT, Triti Imera Anastisite, and the third day he shall rise up, as I mentioned before. The Jews realized this and wanted uh, Pilate to put a custodial guard in front of the tomb because they said he was said he was going to rise up. But the uh, uh, disciples didn't understand all this. Tote prosiothan afto emitir ton ion zevadeu meta ton ion aftis. Then came forward to him the mother of the sons of Zebedee with her sons, proskenus proskenusa, doing obeisance, not worshiping him, but doing obeisance. Uh, on, his, on her face, laying on her face, not playing a guitar and singing songs. K a tusa t paraf tu and asking something from him. O they ipanav t and he said to her, T thelis, what do you want? Legi avto says she says to him, Ipe ina kathiso sin uti idio iimu. Uh, say that uh, these. Uh, two sons, my two sons, should sit. Is ek dexion su, ke is ex evonimon su. One at your right and one at your left. In ti vasilia su, in your kingdom. So she believed that they, he was going to have a kingdom. And uh, she believed it so much that she wanted his, her two sons to sit on his right and left, thinking about herself like a mother would. But uh, she did believe in the kingdom. Apocrithis they o Jesus epen. And answering, Jesus said, he didn't say she's an idiot and get out of here and all this. Uki the te te, a tis they, you know not what you ask. Venus they peen topotirion o ego mello peenin. Are you able to drink the cup which I am about to drink? Uh, you don't know what you're asking. You're his kingdom and everything that's happening is going to be horrible right there. And uh, do you want, you, you don't, you know, are, are you able to do that? And K vaptisma o ego vaptizome, vaptistine, there's three instances of the word for that we use in the King James is baptism. And baptism, uh, am I, uh, and the, uh, and the, are you uh, able to, uh, drink the cup which I am about to drink, and I use the immersion. See, it's, it's way better than using sprinkle or uh, pour. Um, are you able to drink the cup which I am about to drink and the sprinkle which I am sprinkled to be sprinkled? No, or to be in the pouring which I am pouring, which I am poured to be poured? No, but immersion, oh boy, it just goes so well. Uh, and the immersion, which I am immersed, he's immersed in all of this, to be immersed. And there's, the, there's the verb on the, uh, to these two words are verbs, and this is the noun. Legusinav to, and they say to him, the namatha, so they're with the mother, and they say, we're able. Ke legiav tis, tomen potirion mu, you shall drink. And... Uh, indeed, my cup you shall drink. Cato vaptisma o ego vaptizome vaptisthesis they. In the immersion which I am immersed, you shall be immersed. Yes, you will. Indeed, it's going to happen real soon. To de cathise ec dexion mu ke ex evonimon mu ukestinemon dune. But to sit at my right and at my left is not mine to give. Al is, but to the ones, iti maste, ipo tu patros mu, but the ones that has been prepared by my Father. I believe that we're all going to sit at some time uh, next to Jesus, all the chosen, uh, maybe taking turns. I don't know how it's going to be, but uh, I, uh, I think this is a possibility. And uh, maybe we'll all be in front of him. I was uh, uh, volunteered at a uh, hospital, state hospital in Southern California where uh, people that were uh, developmentally disabled stayed. And there was this one young man, about 18 or 19, and he was in a wheelchair. And he 
uh, had this uh, board in front of him, and the board, it, it had uh, A, B, C, D, all in a little round uh, circle around it, and then other, like, four or five other little circles that had certain things on it, one, two, three, or four, or five, whatever it was, and he had a baton stick in his hand, like a drumstick, and all he could do is move it, and he touched touch these buttons, and the button would say something. He had it programmed that it would say, how are you this morning? And, and he had these Jesus stickers on his wheelchair and the, and the fish and loved the Lord and, uh, who had come there and had a smile on his face. He couldn't talk, couldn't hardly move. And uh, I saw him and I was watching him. And the Lord had me to say, speak to him and say, you know, when we're all in heaven, the people that are going to be closest to Jesus, that are going to be sitting next to him, aren't going to be the Billy Grahams or the, uh, all the famous people, uh, the translators, Tyndall, and uh, all the people that have uh, all the history of suffering and doing all things for the Lord and that are famous. The people, I think, that are going to be in the front row are going to be the people like you that went out and you were limited. You couldn't do very much, but what you did was so powerful that I believe you're going to be sitting there in the front row. And if you ever want to take a break, is it okay if I sit in your chair sometime? With, uh, sometime? And he had this big smile on his face, and about uh, six months later he passed away and went to be with the Lord. So I've got a front seat chair waiting for me in heaven. And uh, if you want a front seat chair in heaven, then... Uh, find somebody like uh, this young man that uh, is parap a quadriplegic, c couldn't do anything, or somebody that, that doesn't have anything, and befriend them and love them, and um, maybe you will all have a seat in the front seat sometime. Verse 24. Ke akusantes uh, idheka son peri ton dio adelfo. And having heard the ten, a decade is a derivative here, ten years, were indignant concerning or about the two uh, brothers. <laughs> they like it. O de Jesus par uh, proscalasamenos of tus. And Jesus, ha, Jesus having called them, even said, Either te o te e archontes ton ethnon kata kirievusin of ton. You know that the rulers of the nations, there's the nations, and not the Gentiles, but the nations, uh, dominate them, the people. Ke e megali, and the great ones kata ksusiazusin of ton, and the great ones exercise authority over them. And then uk utos they este in imi, but not so shall it be with you. Al os eon theli any mean megas geneste, but whoever should want uh, to become great among you, este imon diakonos, shall be your servant. Uh, deacon is where the, the deriv derivative for this diakonos, shall be your servant. And that's what a deacon in a church should be. Ke os eon theli, any mean in a protos, and whoever should be uh, should want among you to be first, este imon lulos shall be your bondman, almost a slave. It could be a slave. Osper o eos tu anthropu uk iolthe diakonithine, as the Son of Man came not to be served, Allah diakonise but to serve, there's the same verb, but it has a different meaning by the end of the verb. Uh, to serve in the imper uh, uh, infinitive, and to be uh, served in the, uh, uh, to be served. That's in the, uh, I'm trying to think, it's not, it's not future, shall be served, to be served. Uh, anyway, and, Ke thune team psikin of two litron anti polon, and to give his psikin of two as life, as a ransom instead of many. Uh, his life, uh, Jesus came to give his life instead of many as a ransom. So when we go and stand in front of the judgment, uh, the ransom is one person, one thing, one ransom for all. He's the one that's been ransomed and uh, sold for the sins of the world, of everybody that uh, 
that can claim him as the ransom. If you don't want Jesus as your deliverer, the ransomer, then uh, you won't have that ransom because you don't claim it. And it's a choice of the person. Um, so instead of uh, many, uh, he'll have that ransom. Nobody else has to die instead of Jesus. One person, that's all. No Mohammeds, no Krishnas, no Buddhas, no nobody. Just one person. Jesus is the ransomer for everybody. And all, all, anybody can have him. All you have to do is ask and he will uh, ransom uh, you. And continues in verse 29, in me. Que ek por evo menon afton apo erico, and of their going forth from Jericho. Okay, so now he's moved from uh, Jerusalem. We'll go back to the map. There it is, and Jericho. Here's Jerusalem. So now he's heading over here towards Jericho to the uh, east. Ecoluthis and Afto, Oklos police, and there followed him a great multitude. Ke thu, and behold, theo tifli kathimani para tin odon, two blind men sitting down by the way. Akusantes otiisus paragi, and they're having heard that Jesus is passing by. Ekroxan cried out, legontes, saying, Eleison imas, Kyrie, Eos David. Uh, have, show mercy on us, O Lord. They're yelling out, these uh, blind men, these two blind men uh, on the side as Jesus is coming. You can hear the crowds. So they're starting to yell right away. O they oklos, epitimi, senaftis. But the multitude reproached them, in a seo that they should keep silent. Hey, you guys, shut up. I mean, you're making us a fool out of us by yelling out like that. I mean, just calm down. And uh, but what do they do? Ide me zone ekra zone. But all the greater they cried out. Legontes eleison imas kyrie eos David. Now they added son of David. Uh, show mercy on us in the imperative, and they're yelling it, crying it out loud instead of listening to these uh, people that are trying to shut them up. So they're yelling out even more, making a scene. K stas, and standing, O Jesus, ephoni sanaftus. Jesus called them phone, telephone, the phony calling. K ipe, and said, Ti thelate piso e me, what do you want that I should do to you? Legusinavto, they said to him, Kyrie, ina anik thosin imon i aphthalmi that you, our eyes should be open. They had heard what he had done in other places, and this is what they wanted. They needed this, and uh, they're crying out. The other people, it's like, you know, don't cry out, don't yell out today. I mean, you know, nobody's crying out to God. They expect the government to do it or somebody else. or, um, or But, you know, to God, crying out to God. It's what we should be doing, who we should be crying out to when we need things. Basically, government's going to fail, and other people are going to fail, and institutions are going to fail. But God won't fail. Not that you, we won't go through these uh, uh, trials and tribulations, but this is who we should be crying out to, and that's who they are crying out to. And spilak thinistis, they moved with compassion, and the gut feelings, the splankness, the spleen. Jesus had gut feelings, more or less. This is what it's saying. O Jesus, ipsato ton aphthomon afton. Jesus touched their eyes, so he touches them with his fingers. Ke of theos, an evlepson afton i me, and immediately their eyes gained sight. Ke, uh, and they followed him. So these blind uh, men immediately uh, received what they were asking for. The next chapter, uh, 21, we're going to go into uh, the next um, video, and it's Jesus now goes in, enters into Jerusalem. He goes back from Jericho, and he goes to Jerusalem. He went, made this side tour to heal these uh, two blind men, and uh, he'll make the side tour to heal us. And um, just hope that you'll uh, join us with the next chapter and go through the wonderful word of uh, the Lord. And God bless.